Hello guys, welcome to the another insightful lesson from Macau Smasher. In this video, we will explore the chapter 4 of the subject English, the nature and the style of sensible writing, which is essential for clear and structured communication. We will begin by understanding the techniques for uh, describing a skill that enhances the detail and engagement. Then we will move on to effective defining, which helps in explaining the term concisely. Next, we will discuss the principles of class classifying and, and a method used to organize the ideas logically. We will also learn how to provide examples or evidence, an important technique in academic and professional writing. Lastly, we will cover the art of writing and introduction and conclusion, ensuring that our writing has a strong start and a powerful ending. By mastering these skills, you will improve your writing clarity and coherence. So let's get started. At first, techniques for describing. Description is a crucial writing technique that helps the readers to visualize an idea, object or event. Effective description uses the sensory details, sight, sound, smell, taste and touch to create a vivid image. For example, instead of saying the room was messy, a detailed description would be the floor was covered with a scattered book, crumbled papers and half empty coffee cups, filling the air with the scent of caffeine. Adjectives and adverbs enhance the description but should be used moderately to avoid the wordiness, comparisons like the smiles and the metaphors. Make the descriptions more engaging, her smile was as bright as the sun. Precise description makes the writing more immersive and effective for the reader. Effective defining A definition explains the meaning of a term or concept in a clear and concise way. There are different ways to define something. Formal definition, operational definitions, extended definitions. Formal definitions and algorithm is a step-by-step -step process for solving a problem. It is a general formal definitions. Operational definitions explaining how something works in context. Extended definitions providing examples, history and significance. Definition should be precise and unambiguous, avoiding circular explanations. For example, saying happiness is a state of being happy is unhelpful, while happiness is a feeling of contentment and the joy that arises from fulfilling experiences. It's a clearer, okay? So a strong definition ensures the reader understand the subject without confusion. So principle of classifying. So classification helps in organizing ideas by grouping similar elements into categories. It is used in academic and technical writing to structure the information logically. A good classification system follows three principles. A single basis for division categorized by one clear criteria. Non-overlapping categories, each element fits only one category and completeness, covering all the relevant categories. For example, in programming, languages are classified based on procedural, object-oriented and functional types. So clear classification simplifies the complex ideas and enhances the comp comprehension, making it easier for the reader okay, to follow the discussions. So now, we will go to the next part. Providing examples or evidence. Examples and evidence support the arguments, making writing more convincing. There are different types of evidence. You can say statistical data, numbers, the figures, expert, opinions, quotations from a specialist, real life examples and case studies. For instance, if discussing the importance of cyber security, a strong example would be in 2021, a major cyber attack on colonial pipeline disrupted the fuel supply across the US. So evidence should be relevant, credible and clearly explained. Okay. To, you can say, strain the arguments. Okay. Without evidence, statements may, you can say, seem like opinions rather than a well-founded claims. Okay. So you should know the 
actual evidence for explaining something data okay so the next part writing an introduction and conclusion an introduction sets the stage for the logic or you can say while a conclusion wraps up the discussion a good introduction includes the three key elements a hook an engaging opening statement a background information and a thesis statement the main point of the writing for example an easy on ai could start with will ai replace the human jobs before introducing the key points a conclusion should summarize the main ideas restate the thesis in different words and provide a final thought avoiding avoid adding new information in conclu in the conclusion a strong introduction captures the interest and a well crafted conclusion leaves a lasting impression you can say so that concludes our lesson on nature and style of sensible writing today we covered the descriptive techniques and effective definitions classification principles and using evidence and writing strong introductions and conclusions so mastering these skills will make your writing more structured logical and persuasive so in the next video we will focus on writing practices including summarizing summarizing the note taking techniques if you found this lesson helpful please like share and subscribe to macout smasher we will also solve the macout organizer questions in our video series in this subject and keep practicing and let us know in the comments if you have any doubts see you in the next lesson